Hi, in this video I'd like to take a look at the keyframe interpolation scripts for TrueSpace 761. It does require the persistent base install. So you'd follow that link and follow the instructions here. I also recommend downloading the unofficial update and installing that first. And once all the prerequisites are in place, then you can download the keyframe interpolation from the top link. And once you have it downloaded, you just drag it into the TrueSpace link editor and it will install itself. I have already have it installed here. Here's the toolbar right here. And I have a cube here with some animation so I can take a look at what happens. So first I'll show the F curve, show the Z, and select some keyframes. Now to do it, now let's go from right to left. We'll start with the um, right here. And you see that it jumps in the Z direction. What this is doing is it's jumping to the next keyframe value as soon as it reaches the current keyframe. And the opposite would be it'll look the same for the most part. But in this case, it's maintaining the key's value and then jumping to the next value as soon as the key changes. But they're very similar results. And this is the flat option. It just takes each keyframe, and you can see that the Bezier handles are all flat at every single keyframe. And there's the linear, which is just a straight line between each keyframe. And finally, the choose space default, which is the Bezier. And that goes back to normal. Uh, one thing you'll notice if I go ahead and make that stepped again, if I go to the Y value, it's not affected because it wasn't effect, wasn't uh, selected to begin with. Or if I go to the dope sheet, I can select a bunch of keyframes and I'll make them flat. Now if I go back to the F curve, you can see if I select them, see that all the handles are flat in the Y and in the Z. Okay, and uh, the record button is for recording with whatever the default uh, uh, interpolation is at the moment. You set that by right-clicking any one of these. So if I right-click this one, I need to stop the animation. Right-click that, it'll set it to the end type stepping keyframe. Right-click here, it will be the start value, and so on. This is flat, and I set these values. And whenever you push the record key to record a keyframe, it'll use whatever the interpolation is set here. And uh, the target track, actually, I'll start at the bottom. The set interpolation, basically what this does is the same thing as pushing the button down here in the toolbar. So if it's flat, and I push this button, it'll become flat. Bezier, set interpolation, and it goes to a Bezier. Now the um, sharpness is only valid for certain keyframe types. It has no meaning for linear or any of the stepped keyframe types. And finally, the target track. If the animation has only one track, then you don't need to change anything. But if it has more than one track, you need to tell it which track your keyframes are going to end up in. Uh, right now, there's only one track, and there's the only one in the list, and this feature has not been tested yet. So if you try that uh, and it doesn't work, just, well, let me know. And last function would be the right-clicking of the record keyframe, which does the same thing as right-clicking the ordinary record keyframe. 
And uh, that's everything there is to the interpolation uh, scripts for TrueSpace 761.